like a lot of people started collecting back uh, as kids, five, six, seven, eight, with the stickers, getting your stickers, getting them in the packs, and put them in the album, whether it's like the Premier League or the World Cup. Um, and it kind of just gradually expanded a little bit more kind of eccentric. You get the cards, like the match tax, the shootout cards, and then similarly, you kind of fall out of love with it for a little bit. Some people don't, some people do, and then when you have an income, you then go, oh, actually, let's go back to that, some nostalgia. So mm -hmm. that's kind of when it, it kind of all loops back. Were you a fan of F1 before? Because I know a lot of people get into F1 through the cards. Or were you starting as an F1 fan into the cards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always loved F1. Mm -hmm. I've always loved one of my youngest memories was watching that, that famous Hamilton race when he overtook Glock on that final lap oh, yeah. to, to win his first world title. And just, yeah, the adrenaline rush from there. And ever since, I, I think I've been kind of addicted to it. Mm -hmm. and just, I go to Silverstone every year, I try and go to other races around, around the calendar. Pretty much since the pandemic, like, there's been a real explosion of yeah. F1 interest. Like, I'm thinking back to the Hamilton cars that sell for like 900k. Like, in your opinion, like, what is it that's caused that? Like, is it interest in the sport or is it interest in the collector side or is it maybe a, a mix of I two? say it's all of the above. Yeah. I, th I think obviously the Netflix series helped massively because as you say, COVID, people binge watch just about everything there was to watch. So mm -hmm. that was one of the things and a lot of things Kind of fell in line obviously the Netflix series then you had probably one of if not the best F1 title championship of all time um, in obviously 2021 and similarly most importantly for the card collectors it was the first year of Topps Chrome 2020 F1 the first time a proper or a modern day set had been released mm -hmm. and still to this day there's been three four sets since then but that's still seen as like the the holy grail of the, the go-to set. I managed to get when I'm opening, um, so I'm a big Mercedes fan, I'm a big George Russell fan, and luckily enough I got a number to five George Russell portrait uh, in the pack. Um, and similarly, a couple years later, got a Lewis Hamilton number to 25 orange wave refractor in the pack. So yeah, both, both worth, uh, I mean the card is only worth as much as someone will pay for it, mm -hmm. but probably upward of, of, of eight to 10K. When 2020 first came out, it was only 400 pound a box. Mm -hmm. Whereas now it's, um, <clears throat> now it's kind of, because so many have been opened and the demand has gone up, you, you do well to get them less than 1,500 to, to 2,000 pound for a box. Mm -hmm. And typically how much, like save the card, kind of, what would that sell for like and what's? Well, the risk to reward is there. You could open mm -hmm. that box and get three, 400 pound worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. Or you could open that box and get, like I luckily did, uh, mm -hmm eight, 10 thousand pound card. So mm -hmm. it's all the kind of de degenerate um, <laughs> mindset of a card collector. If you want to take the risk, the reward is there, but mm -hmm. expect to be disappointed. That's, that's my mindset. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it that makes card value? Is it the numbered? Is it the different colors you mentioned? Yeah. Or is it to do with the who, who's on the card itself? Yeah, so the card itself, obviously, if go back to 2020, you had the likes of Hamilton in the set, but you had the likes of Latifi in the set. Mm -hmm. So. One's going to be more desired than the other, as, as, as good as Gotifi was. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, there's all kinds of stuff. So there's a base card and there's different parallels which kind of determine how rare that card is. So there'll be red cards, which are numbered to five. There's orange, which is numbered to 25. Gold, which is numbered to 50. Purple, which is numbered to um, 399. And there's other small prints. Um, but yeah, that will determine the value of it. And similarly, if a driver's doing really well, he's probably going to be a little bit more desired. Mm -hmm. Whereas if he's not doing so well, he probably won't be. A lot of people get these cards as investments, other people get to collect. So Lando Norris is one of those where a lot he hasn't won a race yet, but everyone knows it's on the cards and you put him in a decent car, mm -hmm. he probably will challenge world titles. So there's a lot of people that have invested in him. Hamilton, the GOAT, in my opinion. <laughs> um, George Russell, another one. Mm -hmm. Again, he's heir to the throne at Mercedes. That car will come back. So chance of a world title or two will come his way. Um, but you never know. And that's the, that's the beauty or you could say the downside of this collectibles game. It's mm -hmm. uh, a lot of money to be made, but don't get me wrong, there's a lot of money to be lost as well. Yeah, <laughs> and how much does real life, you mentioned there, like, I'm thinking in particular, Verstappen obviously, because since these cards are out, cards have come out, he's the only guy who's won a new championship. Like, yes. How much did Verstappen cards go up in value after 2021? They, they went up, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong, but a lot of people, 
he's not a fan's favourite. Yeah. And so a lot of people, as I said, it's about collecting. Mm -hmm. So if you want to look at your cards, because a lot of people see these cards as art, they'll put them up in their office, their room, their living room. <laughs> um, and a lot of people don't really want to be looking at Max Verstappen. Mm -hmm. they, they see him as, well, we all know Max Verstappen's reputation, the guy which, not even a good teammate, let alone a good public person. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, there's that. Whereas you look at like, the likes of Hamilton, Norris, where they are fans' favourites. So, yeah, winning world titles definitely does mean he's got a fan base, Red Bull fans will want him. And so, even the external people that are coming in will go, oh, yeah, Max Verstappen's winning and may get involved in that. But obviously, their relationship with their fans is very important as well. I'd say Max and Lewis are pretty on par, which is saying something considering Lewis hasn't, I'm not going to say been competing, but mm. Mercedes car hasn't been competing. Um, Leclerc's another one, mm. very fan favourite, but that Ferrari <laughs> strategies, that like the car <laughs> is, is somewhat to be questioned. Um, I can say a top five, I'd say Leclerc, Lewis, um, Verstappen, George, and then Lando, mm -hmm. and then Checo has his fan base, Alonso has a very faithful fan base, mm -hmm. um, Albon, very faithful. And you mentioned about, I think, rookie cards do obviously really yeah. well. Like, do we have the opposite scale? So like, I'm thinking of Vettel, obviously retired. Is his last card going to be <laughs> worth quite a lot? You'd think so, but mm. not so much, okay. unfortunately, with a lot of things out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, you look at the likes of, kind of refer it back to like basketball, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, um, their goats, their seeders, really unbelievable cards. Um, but their final card, it's more their first card, so mm -hmm. their rookie card. So in 2020, another reason why that set was so, just so unique and so unbelievable was because you had three rookies in it. Mm -hmm. And they were Lando, George, and Alex Albon, mm -hmm. three big prospects, especially that year with Albon being a Red Bull. So, um, yeah, in terms of final cards, not so much. A lot of people see the um, that first year, even if it doesn't have that rookie card logo on it, that mm -hmm. first year has been Lewis Hamilton's proper rookie. Like, he did have F3 cards, F2 cards way back, but not to the standard, which the 2020 product was. Mm -hmm. What would be the rarest, most expensive, like valuable card? Like, has it been found yet, or is it? Do you I'd say it yet? has been found. Yeah, it's, it's, it is that Lewis Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And you just explain, like, what was it that made that particular card so special? So it's a one of one. Mm -hmm. So there's only one of them. So like I mentioned earlier, there's a number to five red. That super factor is there's one of them in the world. Mm -hmm. So any kind of diehard collector, that's where that's where it is, which mm -hmm. is why it went for near a million pounds. Yeah. So uh, or dollars, sorry. I'd say in the 2020 product, just about everything has been found to an extent. There's still a lot of boxes out there, so there is still good stuff to be pulled, which is why the boxes are so, so highly desired. But the, uh, I've got a feeling, and I'm no doubt I'll be called out on this, but I think the Max Verstappen one of one auto hasn't been found yet. Okay. But um, there's every chance that someone's just got it in a box and it's sitting on their mantelpiece. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Hamilton car could ever be beat? Obviously, if someone finds that Maxwell, maybe, or is that Hamilton pretty much oh, the best good it's ever question. going to be? I, I wouldn't say so, mm -hmm. just because of the hype at the time, because of the card itself, because of the release. Um, I, I could say that card and other cards could be beat if he goes to win an eighth, a ninth possibly, and then retires. It then comes into the whole bracket of the Michael Jordan, the Kobe Bryant era of they're the best there has been, probably very likely the best there ever will be. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of investments, you'll do well to find one which better than that, but obviously you're going to have to find a, a million dollars to kind of invest in it, <laughs> yeah. so... Um, Shame. Good, good <laughs> luck with that. <laughs> how much interest is there, because I know as well as the cars, they do these bits where you get like past the race seat, like how much are they valued, that kind of thing? So there's a lot of... There's different kinds of relics and, mm -hmm. and patches. So there's race worn stuff and there's just drive worn stuff. So drive worn stuff will be stuff where they've probably just put it on for a shoot. Mm -hmm. um, so there's that kind of stuff. And similarly, it's obviously desired. The auto is obviously very, very desired. Sometimes there's a set called Dynasty or Dynasty, mm -hmm. which some people call it, um, where it's both. You get a patch, triple patch, double patch, um, and the auto on it and that's like the, the creme de la creme and, and that's stuff which likely really high-end stuff probably 
if the market goes back to where it was in COVID, where people had a lot of um, disposable income. Mm -hmm. Might not get back to that point, but it could easily exceed a million if mm -hmm. that Lewis one of one patch auto is found. I'm thinking in terms of Obviously, collector cars is huge in America, and they've got base cars and that, and they've been going for decades. Yeah. Whereas this, like you said, 2020 was the first proper year. Is it only going to get bigger as like the decades go on? I think the fact that you look at races around the world, there's more races, there's increased capacity in Silverstone selling out in, in, in hours, <laughs> yeah. months and months in advance. And I think that's a good representation for the hobby. And it look. Comparing the show, we're growing every single show. Every single show we're expanding, we're, we're growing, so more people are interested, more people are like an investment, and mm -hmm. the stock market isn't for everyone, and people then turn to commodities, mm -hmm. watches, sports cards, mm -hmm. Pokemon cards, so um, I can see it dramatically like carrying on the trajectory, which is up. Um, there obviously will be blips, like uh, there's a recession, but at the same time, the economy will be one thing, but collectors are still quite passionate, so mm -hmm. they're still true in my opinion, so mm -hmm. I can just see it going up.